Right, we're at the Hive. It's finished uh, Barnet 6, Dorking Wanderers 0. Uh, Mark, you said it might be like a game of chess. It wasn't really, was it? No, no, it's a game of fucking demolition. Um, no, listen, I'll just start. So, we, they've only played sort of three back fours or whatever all season. So we planned for them plan a variety of back threes, um, which meant we would have had an extra man at the back. So we knew we had to have an extra man at the back. Mm -hmm. um, and then saw the team sheet and could tell they were a 4-3-3 and then plan on our back line. Um, and we didn't have, um, we didn't have the players on the pitch to go into a back four. So that was the sort of the fundamental problem with the start of the game. Mm -hmm. For any sort of, you know, for the fans that like the technical side, we play, we plan to have an extra man at the back, just like in the home game, keep the ball. Um, they changed formations for the first time in a while, caught us cold. We didn't have the, we couldn't go to back four on the pitch. Um, and then cue, cue a really poor start. Um, it's important, mate. Listen, got to, got to call players out. That's how it works with me. Mm -hmm. um, um, you know, you, we we have to we have to trust our players. Alfie had such a really poor start, really poor start. Then gets a second yellow car for descent in as many games. Yeah. Wants to concentrate more on his own game, pressing them instead of letting the guy put a ball over the top. Um, and um, the defending was just woeful. Balls over the top. I mean, it was just literally back to front. It, it was, was literally just. There was nothing. On, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, no, no disrespect. Mm -hmm. it, there wasn't anything elegant about it mm -hmm. because great managers see the weakness and uh, and then seize it. And uh, Dean just literally said, "Yeah, put the ball, you know, on them. They're defending man for man, um, and we defended really badly, man for man, and then." But the nature of the goals is a big deal. Josh, who's obviously a brilliant player, Alfie can clear it for the first goal. Poor, poor clearance. Josh then puts his foot high in the box, which is just really bad decision. Um, one nil. Joe's then arguing with the ref, standard stuff for two, three minutes. Then loses his man. Then gets himself on a yellow. You know. For the you know in the first 15 minutes for the umpteenth time, um, obviously we then go to bat four, <laughs> ultra and carbon copy really. Mm -hmm. uh, in the bat four, it kind of kept the ball really because mm -hmm. now we've got an extra man. Yeah. You know, now we've got an extra man at the back. Mm -hmm. Obviously that's if we'd have known how they were playing, we 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 would have chosen that way to play. Kept the ball, kept the ball, kept the ball. Then more poor defending. Uh, Tom Blair he walks around arguing with everybody. Then don't pick up his man from the throw. Another, mm -hmm. just the thing is, you can make as many excuses as you want. I'm putting the boys on the pitch, so I have to take responsibility, and I will, and I do. But what I would say is, I'll also be the boy that don't put some of them players back on the pitch. Do you think some of it is now sort of like a mental thing, Mark? Because the, the, the ability and the talent is there, but some of these things that are happening seem to be that kind of mental side of things with the dissent and the arguing and things yeah. like that that are happening yeah. sort of outside of the actual game itself. 100%. There's, there's a couple of boys that I've told are not coming back. Just to be honest, I've got to be honest about it. Do you know what I mean? I've got to be honest about it. Um, just being straight. Just I'm not having it. Mm -hmm. A whole week of planning, whole week of planning, you know, when the going gets tough, we've got a few boys that physically can't go with it, mm -hmm. mentally can't go with it. So they're done with me. I don't give a shit where we end up, but I'm going to make sure we're surrounded by boys that I know won't let us down. The fans deserve that. The management team deserve that. I'm putting faith in boys that have got ability, but not mental ability. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And at this level, they're just, to be honest with you, James, it's embarrassing for them. For them, like it's under 15s, and that's disrespectful to that. Arguing with the ref for three minutes after decision, mm -hmm. and then your man gets in front of you, then you get a booking, mm -hmm. then it's oh, why take me off? No shit, Sherlock. Why'd you let me come off, Joe, on a yellow, mm -hmm. two nil down? And that's not disrespectful because they, these boys get paid good fucking money. 
they get paid good money, mm. right? They get fucking, they pay mortgages out of what they get paid, right? And they've got to be better. And I've warned a few individuals too many times now. And I'm afraid to say, if people wonder why fucking one of our supporters is playing at right back, mm. they'll know it's because I'd rather go down fighting with the boys we've got that love the club than boys that having been warned 15 times about their mental ability cannot find it. I'll, listen, they're nice guys. Mm. They're nice guys, yep. but they've not got the mental capacity to play at the level. And you know what? That is just how it is. I back myself. I back a lot of our players. I'm not going to let the same individuals let them down. And, it, and that overshadows because Josh has made a bad mistake mm -hmm. for the first goal. You know, there's poor defensive display, but I can't come off a field again talking about discipline. Mm. Alfie, you know. So, listen, I, I toyed with, well, what do I say? Because then people go, you know, Mark, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? The fans pay their money. Yep. They travel. Yep. They deserve to understand how it is. I've been so over loyal to players right from the first game of the season yep. when we go down to 10 men mm -hmm. for fucking 25 minutes at Chesterfield mm -hmm. right from then players that you know I can't trust and um, you know that's more for me but I'm not gonna for the next six games we won't see them boys around it and it does seem harsh on them but to be frank I don't give a fuck because they're paid good money and they are grown men and they can fucking 100% sort themselves out that's how it is it's not acceptable at all and I'm saying it because it goes through the team James You've got grown men, grown footballers that are, having, that are scared to talk to their teammates yep. for reaction because they can't cope. Yep. So anyway, so I thought mentally, mentally a few boys let me down. Um, strategically, we caught a cold with the formations. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I'm really disappointed. Ultimately, this time of year, the goal difference is no good anyway. This, this time of year is a game that's written off, that's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we were we were chasing that game. It got away from us early on, didn't it? Um, what's the plan this week, then, Mark? Obviously, there's a game on Friday now, so it, is it going to be two training sessions? How are you thinking this week's going to go? Yeah, two training sessions. It's you know, um, hope we've you know got a bit of fitness around us. Um, it's we, it was only a week ago that we should have beat Hull yeah. in a fairly contested game. It was only two weeks ago we beat Chesterfield. Um, so it's you know it's not like we're some kind of whipping boys, mm. but um, we we go again. We have to be bold enough. We have to be bold enough to zero it all out. Yep. Yeah, to zero it all out, and, um, and and go again. That's the bottom line, and um, it is ultimately my issue. Um, you know, we know we've had a load of bad luck this year, mm -hmm. but ultimately I put the team on the field, so I'm there, hundred percent to be judged um, and um, what I'd say is it's there's there's still a lot of football to be played yeah. and what we have to do is is just say well hold on a minute if you did win your next two games mm -hmm. well what would that mean well quite a lot yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. so you have to you have to find the way of just getting on with it James which is difficult but I just want to say obviously a big thanks yeah. to supporters yeah. um, massive thanks to supporters borderline our best support away from home this season in terms of noise yeah. um, I can't talk about the, um, you know, <laughs> if I talk about the, the the three men in black, then I risk getting suspended. Um, well, I mean, I've, yeah, I've, 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 yeah, I mean, I've, particularly for either side, really, with the both sides, the way that they both sides, that yeah, game. both yeah. sides. But you know what, mate? Obviously, we was worse than them. That's what I would say. So, yeah, just disappointed that um, we uh, capitulated and under pressure and just a couple of boys zap the energy out of their own team and, and, and just, just by not handling the situation the right way. So that's where we are with that, mate. And I just want to be really clear, I don't give a fuck when their agents call me moaning, saying, ah, oh, you know, not fair to name a player. Yes, it fucking is. Yes, it is. Because we've got fucking single parents bringing their kids, driving a barnet, right, to watch Dawkins Wanderers win, who want to give everything for us to fucking survive. Yep. And they need their fucking players to be able to handle pressure. If they can't, yep. they're in the wrong place. Yep. That's how it is. Well, yeah, and you said recently, didn't you, as well, you want your players to be able to play through that pressure. Um, 
and that's what it's going to be like over Easter as well because the games are Friday, Monday, aren't they? It's a quick turnaround with a home game against Bromley yeah. and then away at Aldershot. So yeah. the pressure is relentless, isn't it? Yeah. And um, yeah, and we'll go again on Friday. Yeah, I think I think a sign of a sign of a really, you know, when things are wrong is when you could when you can go and get beat six 0 I always say you should never get beat six 0 in a game of football in the same division as anybody. Yeah. And you know that's on me ultimately. But I also need to explain to people what's going on so they get it. I'm not going to finesse it. I'm not going to fluff it up. I'm saying it how it is because I, I can tell you now I've given people a lot of fair warning. Yeah. So that's where we are. But yeah, so, I mean, listen, poor defending, you know, overshadowed for me by some bad discipline, Alfie, Joe, Tom, and um, we will just put a team out that give the all for the fans, James, yeah. and I guarantee 100% that I sort it all out, hopefully in time. Yeah. Just have won the league today. Barnett going to be in the playoffs, obviously, and we wish them all the best for the rest of the season as well. Good side. Yeah, mate. And listen, Dean, what Dean's done here is brilliant. He's got yeah. great players, got great players. Um, you know, get some, you know, get some work in. They yeah. can play two, three formations. They're honest. They get on with it. You know, I don't see those sort of issues in other teams around us. Yeah. Um, so really, you know, fair play to Dean. Um, I think he's done great back from when he's at Willstone. And then yeah, for for the, for the Chesterfield boys, brilliant leadership. You know, yeah. got beat at Wembley. I can only imagine what that felt like that night. Yeah. And uh, they've now gone and got their hands on the trophy, put the lead to the sword. Somebody said to me yesterday, you know, looking ahead at next season, whoever's in this league, yeah. it's anybody's, yeah. you know, next season. Yeah. Um, when you think about it, yeah. you know, yeah. so, um, but, you know, congrats to them tonight. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to ask our fans, yeah. <laughs> trust me. In my judgment, I've been doing it a long time in terms of what I'm telling you, mm -hmm. in terms of what was going on on the pitch today, half time, it wasn't a nice place. Mm -hmm. You know, I totally get the fact we have to get the right players on the field that we can trust. They might have to expect to see a few boys out of position if need be, mm -hmm. but we're going to give it our all for six games, yeah. never say die. And uh, there's a long, long way to go in terms of the table, yeah. but of course we need to get points. That's where we are. Yeah. OK, thanks for your honesty as always, yeah, Mark. Yeah, um, I've, I've, got to, I've got to be honest, yeah, yeah. Know, right? Yeah. I'm not going to come out like a no, fanny no, no. and say, oh, you know, and hide things. Because no. these boys, I'm the fucking owner, right? Mm. And I know how much some people pay mm -hmm. to support the club and travel and mm. give for the club. Yeah. So them fucking players that can't learn, and I'm not talking, I, I, listen, I'm fine with one-offs. Mm -hmm. I'm talking individuals that I've warned 15 times. So, you know, that's where we are with that. If I end up, fucking running out this year you'll know why yeah. that's where it is thanks mate we'll cheers, see you mate. on friday cheers james